First thing we're going to do is we're going to do a couple little marks. Okay. And so once we determine the little marks, then we're going to start playing with the little lip heights. Okay. And as we play with the little lip heights, that's when we take your feedback. All right. And kind of how we talked about in the console, this is very similar to if we were shopping for sunglasses. So I'm going to pick out a couple nice fancy pairs of sunglasses. Then we're going to try them out on your face and you're going to tell me okay. if you like them or not. So you're gonna tilt up a tiny little bit for me. So first thing I like to do is make sure that we delineate the cupid's bow very nicely, because the one thing that we don't want to change is the shape of the cupid's bow. The last thing that a patient wants is to start with a very pretty cupid's bow and to end up with a flat cupid's bow. So we want to make sure that that stays nice and neat. Then we're gonna make sure that we delineate how that incision is gonna be, and this is what keeps everything nice and hidden, because the trick here is to keep the lip subunit away from the nose subunit. That way, even if you end up with a scar, because it'll be in the border of the subunits, the brain will be tricked into not seeing it quite as big as it is in a close-up. So that's probably the trickiest part, and that's where people make the biggest mistake. And so we want to make sure that we don't go into the groove up here and keep it within the crease because that's what makes it look nice and pretty. Excellent. You're going to smile for me real big, big, big. Excellent. Then relax for me. Good. So you're creating a little crease, which is God's way of letting us know that you got a little bit of extra skin there that needs to be fixed up. Perfect. So you're going to grab onto this little mirror for me. You're going to sit forward a tiny little bit. Perfect. I'm going to sneak up from around back. And now we're gonna start playing with the lip height. So you're gonna open your mouth a tiny little bit. You're just gonna focus on the lip length. Don't look at how the lip looks uh -huh. because when I push down, it looks funky. So don't worry about that. And we'll talk about the sides in a second. So your lip, when you smile, is starting to create a crease down here and creating a little bubble up above. So your body is already telling us there's an excess pleat. So if we were having a dress, your dress has a little bit of extra cloth right here. So if we were gonna go conservative so that your body just still looks natural, fixes the proportions, but doesn't do much else, we're talking about picking up from here and coming up like this. So that the proportion ends up being from here down. So that's a nice length lip, mm -hmm. okay? Now, if we wanted to end up here, we really need to go a little bit further down because it's gonna relax a little bit, mm -hmm. okay? So we wanna kinda come up like this a little bit. It's very subtle. Okay, I think you can be more aggressive. Okay. Um, now, keeping in mind what your goals are of natural, not overdone, so it's going to be a fine balance. So I'm going to be pushing you more towards aggressive. Okay. You got to hold back and tell me what you feel comfortable with and what you don't. Okay. Because you have enough tone in the lower lip where you can pull off being a little more aggressive than you think. Okay. But again, I'm looking at you as a stranger, so I'm just thinking. Are you gonna look like a weirdo at Starbucks? And so I think that you can go pretty aggressive. Okay. But if you're thinking, you know what, my brain is used to seeing me a certain way mm -hmm. for the last 40 years. I don't want to look too crazy, too different. Then we can go a little bit less. So again, so this is pretty conservative. Looks nice, fits your face, no different. Okay. If we wanted to get there, we'd have to be a little more aggressive and come up like this. Again, doesn't change too much. Add one and a half more millimeters. Comes up. Now we're going real short, and I kind of like how this looks, but it's pretty aggressive. At this point, your nose is starting to look a little over-projected. Your hairline is fine, but close your lips for me. Now you're starting to strain down here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I probably wouldn't want you to go any further than here, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. And now this is pretty aggressive for you because it's certainly more aggressive than what you thought from a goal standpoint, but understand it's gonna relax a little bit. I don't wanna push you towards it because I, I do know that it's a little bit more than what you were thinking. Mm -hmm. But you can pull it off if you wanted to. Well, I trust you and I am a little bit concerned about it, it relaxing too far to where it... Well, it always relaxes a little bit. Right. You know, certainly aging process continues and you know, it's a reason why we don't do facelifts when you're 25. Right. Uh, <laughs> But realistically, it doesn't relax quite as much as you think it does. Mm -hmm. A lot of it is in the head, just because your brain gets used to how right, it looks. Right. And the devil between your ears will always say, well, it looks so good when we took this. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more yeah. will look a little bit better. Um, 
So if you wanted to, you know, I think that certainly like the first one looks good, but if we just went there, I think it's too little. Okay. You know, because it's gonna settle, relax, you're gonna say this was a waste of time. If you go a little bit more and pick it up, I think that looks nice because it's gonna relax, but I would ideally want it to finish mm -hmm. right there. So maybe just a millimeter more so that it picks up and then it relaxes a little bit. Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool. Yeah. That way it's not quite as aggressive as what I think you should do, but it's still okay. still definitely enough. So tilt all the way back for me. Excellent. Perfect. So we're gonna measure you out. Just just to clarify though, you're not going as aggressive as you think you should, that you would prefer to. Right. I, I think it, I, honestly, realistically, no, seeing with the proportion of your nose, mm -hmm. I think that it would, knowing what goals you had in mind when mm -hmm. we first talked, and we were, I think it'd be a little bit more than what you're expecting. You might think it's a little too short. Okay. Okay. Like, I think you can pull it off, but I mean, I do a lot of these, so yeah. I, I can kind of read into your psyche a little bit. Okay. That's why I was telling you, I think you can go real high, but you can go pretty short there. So we're starting at 17. 17, okay. You're gonna finish just short of 11, like right at 11. So that's pretty good. Okay. It's aggressive, but not too bad, right? Mm -hmm. good. So now the sides, this is the important part. So you're gonna hold on to this, okay? Mm -hmm. So traditionally, I'm just gonna sneak up in front of you. If we wanted to do a little bit of pout, which is not what you want, we'd pull up the sides like this. But what I wanna do is if you're just looking here, Come up like this. So then close your lips for me. The whole lip rolls out. So then that way it contains the shape. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Perfect. So we'll mark that out. Use that crack a little bit for me. So there are subtle differences in everyone's lip lift. No two are the same. And another two tip. Let me just check. Thank you. Good, you're gonna open your mouth a tiny little bit. There you go. Close your mouth for me. Perfect. Open your mouth for me. Close your mouth for me. Perfect. Open your mouth for me. Close your mouth for me. Perfect. Excellent. So then that way we'll get a little bit of roll from the sides too. That way open your mouth a little bit. Close your mouth for me. So it'll be a little bit better. It won't accentuate quite so much the downturn on the sides and you'll be in good shape. Okay. Cool? Mm -hmm. This is the hard part. That's it. Okay. Now all you have to do is figure out what kind of music you want to listen to and we'll go from there. Okay. Can I use my phone? And Sure, go nuts, I don't care. It's your face. <laughs> <laughs> you can do whatever you want. <laughs> you can do as you please. Okay.